Hey guys, it's your girl Risa coming to you today with a Kung Pao chicken recipe. It's not from scratch. Quick and easy way to do this. My way, okay? Hey, Sugars! What's going on, everybody? I thank y'all so much for watching our channel. Thank you for all your inboxes. Thank y'all for, for your heads up, for your love, your prayers. Uh, just for everything. Shout out to Alicia Johnson. Hey, boo. To Pat and Teresa and uh, Cynthia and Rania and Sugar Cookie and Gypsy Bush and everybody, y'all. Alicia Southern Crew, Mama Margaret, Mama B, Linda LaPool. Y'all, I'll be here for hours calling out all my boo babies. But just know that I love y'all. If I didn't call your name, it don't mean that I don't love you. It's just a lot of y'all, okay? All right. So, shout out to B-Love. Hey, Sugar. We got to get you over here in our kitchen one day so we can sit down and eat, even have us a crab boil, okay? We like it spicy around this piece, but I don't know if we like it so spicy, but we like it spicy, okay? So, we're going to go ahead and do this thing. So, I got some garlic. That I'm getting ready to post if I can get this thing to work. Well, if I plug it up, like always. So we got some garlic. Now, um, the recipes that I looked at, they teach you how to make the Kung Pao sauce. Well, I cheated. I went and bought some sauce. And I have this one by Panda Express. And I have this one by P.F. Chang's. Now, I don't know the difference in them because I haven't opened them, never tried them. But we're getting ready to open these things together, okay? And I'm going to let Galen come in and smell them because I know my smell will work. But, you know, hey, two is always better than one. So, I got my pan heating up, okay? And I have about five chicken, chicken thighs cut up. I also have about a pound of shrimp that have been peeled and deveined. I have a red bell pepper, a yellow bell pepper, a piece of green. I got to go to the stove. And I have an onion. I have some uh, eight cloves of garlic. And I have some dried red chili peppers. Okay. Now, I do have some chili pepper sauce in the cabinet that I could add to that. Come here, baby. Spin and smell this. Ooh. See, I've never had that? it, so I don't know if that's the way it's supposed to smell. It smell like that. Okay, that's one. That's it smell the other. The PF chain, it smell this one. That one. This yeah. one smell like it's that got a little That one smell a little cheaper. Okay. That smell cheap. So I may have to mix them to make sure y'all have enough sauce, but we're going to be all right. So good. Do your thing. Okay. What's up, fam? So... Wow. Like you're making it from scratch to me. Well, it's it's you're supposed to use rice wine, um, no. soy sauce, and soy a few sauce. other things to make it from scratch. Oh, I don't okay. have all of that. I well, we make it from semi scratch. Yeah, semi, <laughs> yeah, there we go. So while my pan is getting We ain't certified chef. No. We over here winging we it. We do what we can do. Okay. Peace. We winging it. I got a little bit of black um black pepper child. Green bell pepper. Cutting this bad boy up while that's heat, heating up. So what I'm going to do is um, go ahead and put my garlic in. I know I can forget, but I don't want to lose my digits. So I got this pepper cut up here. I might save that little piece. Let's do the red. Might not need all of this red. So save that little piece. So what's going on in y'all neck of the woods? I forgot all about doing the vlogging every day for August. And I hope I said it right. I said not vloggers. You're not by yourself. Okay. 
forgot. I totally forgot. With trying to get this plumbing squared away and all kinds of stuff, y'all. God is good. I'm telling you, he is. And yeah, I can tell him thank you. Because, baby, things could be so different in so many ways. It could. But I thank you. I really do. Uh, trying to be a good and faithful servant. I know I got a lot of work to do. But hey, that's going to be as long as I live on earth. I'm always going to be striving to be better. Because I know. So we got that. Put the whole onion, okay? There's the onion and a little bit of peppers. Set aside. We're going to go on and move you. hand towel down here okay let me see I might have to angle y'all down just a little bit so y'all can see what I'm doing there we go that's better for y'all y'all like that better like, girl, why you didn't do that from the, from the get-go? Like, for real. That's what it's all about. The food, right? It's the food that matters. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we in the test kitchen. You know all kind of stuff happened in the test kitchen. <laughs> so that's getting warm. So. Um... I got a little oil in the bottom of here. There's no season on this chicken. Let me cut up this last piece. to put over in here. I don't know. Sometimes I overthink things, y'all, and I make it more complicated than it really is. And so, when I finally calm down and I just do the dang thing, it comes out perfect. So, per as perfect as it can be. Wash my hand. Get all the sheeting off. Y'all can see, you can hear that the temperature has dropped some. Okay, so we're gonna turn it up just a little bit because I don't want to cook it too fast. So basically, it tells you to cook the chicken first, then it tells you to remove the chicken, and then you cook your vegetables. Now, the only vegetables I have are the bell peppers, onion, and garlic. So, we're going to go on and make that happen. Um, and then these dried red chili peppers, um, they are like cayenne pepper, is what it says on the thing. But I also have some chili, some chili paste that I think I'm going to add... This is some chili garlic sauce. But I got some chili paste, some chili chili paste in there. But I like this one because it's got a little bit of everything in it. Let's see, where you at? Don't be playing peekaboo with me. Okay, let's see. So I think what I'm going to do, I can't find it right this minute. Come on, come back up to temperature. There it is. It's coming to life. Y'all see it get hot. Sometimes I have to remove it. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to cook this. And, um.
why do I need to take it all out? Why can't I just cook it all together? Am I being hard-headed, y'all? Ooh. <laughs> That's too much work. That's too much work. So I'm going to be, I'm going to behave myself. Okay? Yes, I am. I'm going to behave myself and do it right. Cooking the chicken. Cooking the chicken. Give me a bottle of water, please. So, I'm not going to cook it all the way. I'm going to cook it halfway. So, let's take this out. Because I'm going to add it back to it for it to uh, finish cooking. I don't want to overcook it. Okay. of that chicken is in there. I mean, that's the smell of unseasoned chicken and it smells so good. Unseasoned. Unseasoned. Come on. Come on. I'm trying not to use my hand in there. Come on, get on the, on the, there we go. All right, so there we go with that. See that? Now we're going to scrape all that garlic in there. Because you know you got to get garlic cooked. Get as much out of there as you can. Uh-huh. Now let's put all this in there. when you look at food and you be like, you know, if it don't look right, I don't want to eat it. Yeah, but sometimes you got some stuff that's good that might not look good to you. But I ain't trying to teach y'all. I saw a lady do a video. She was making a sandwich for somebody. And baby, her cat was on the, on the countertop walking over her food. She messed around and walked away from the counter. And the cat was eating the meat off her sandwich. She just picked the cat up with her hands and moved them out the way and put her hands right in that meat. I was like, oh my goodness. I'm going to stop being greedy and tell the folks I'm coming to their house to eat. Mm -mm. Woohoo! Now, I do know, if you don't know what's going on in the restaurant, I already know. Okay. So we're going to add our chicken back in there. Okay. Chicken and the garlic. And this is basically how I do stir fry. But I guess it's just a, this supposed to be a different flavor. Now, the original recipe calls for um, peanuts. I can't cook with peanuts in the house. The aroma from it, period. I, I ain't trying to kill my son, okay? I ain't trying to do all that. I'm going to add a little bit of the chili garlic sauce. Mm -mm. It ain't even that serious. And the um, recipe that Galen has had, when he go to the Chinese restaurant, they don't ever have it in there, no way. So I'm going to put two of those. Ooh, that smells a little spicy. Now, this doesn't have to be mushy, you know, like the, um, not really mushy, but the way I do the stir fry. So, I'm going to add the sauce. Let 
me add the shrimp. All of the shrimp have been peeled in the vein and rinsed. Let this keep tossing this till these shrimp get about done. Because I want the peppers to cook a little bit more. Now, um, excuse me, y'all. I want to put some crushed red pepper in this bad boy. You don't have to do that, but I'm not eating this. I might grill me some shrimp because I can't have the peppers and stuff right now. It's just got to be bland for me. Okay. So, that's coming along. Some of the shrimp are starting to turn pink. Make sure. Okay. It's good and hot. Coming along, you guys. Coming along. Sometimes I feel like my belt will come and loose. Let me rest my hands. I was fiddling with my clothes. See that? There's a juice forming in there. Can y'all see that? Can you see that juice right there? That's coming from all of this. I haven't added any liquid. Now let's add this sauce. Look at that. Look at that. Mouth watering. Woohoo! Mm hmm. See, this is going to continue to simmer in this sauce. Yeah. Don't want too much sauce. Okay, what you got going? I'm almost done. Almost done. Oh, uh, let me see. Chili peppers in there? Yeah, I'm gonna put them in there for just a few minutes. Look at that. It looks like it. It can't be, um, if you gotta put it in and thicken it up. I mean, um, My corn starch. Hold star on. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. I'm digging for you it. it. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all know he got the supervised. Give me a little water in my bowl. Give me a few scoops of this cornstarch to make a slurry. Let's start with two. One more. Okay. That dissolves really quick. Let's see how that do. So that was about a fourth a cup of water to three forkfuls of cornstarch. Okay, so look like all of the meat is, is pretty much done. The shrimp are coming along. They're no longer, you know, white. They're starting to turn pink. Okay, I'm going to add a little bit more sauce. And I'm just going to use this one bottle because... 
looks like that's all I need. And let me open this and get a few of these peppers out of here. And this is what it looked like. Now this might be the wrong kind of peppers, but this is what we picked up. I hope this ain't lava hot. <laughs> but they'll tell me if it is. Okay. We got that. That's coming along, you guys. What y'all think? Have y'all ever made compound chicken? Cooking with Gina, where you at? What you think? <laughs> what you think? What you think, y'all? What you think? I'm gonna bring y'all in close. Closer than close. Let's get closer. What y'all think? What it look like? Do it look like it's all right, y'all? I already have steak. He in there. He giving instructions, y'all. He's gonna make sure I don't burn his food up. Critique and everything you Yeah. That's Papa. That's my sous chef. That's my sous chef. Cause he will get in here and help me out. I say you will come and help me out if I need it. I'm going to learn how to make that sauce from scratch. I just didn't feel like going in the stove getting all the ingredients. <laughs> no, because some of it I couldn't find. I wasn't on the hunt for all of that. But Y'all ain't asking me all that. So this is my version. My semi-homemade compound chicken. And as soon as our rice is done, come back and show you guys what we're working with. See y'all in a minute. Okay, fam, look at that. That is Kung Pao chicken. My wife did it again. Wow. You see how it don't cook down? That's Kung Pao chicken. That's how it's supposed to look. Oh, my goodness. Baby, if you leave me, I'll kill you. I'm a, I'll kill you. <laughs> I can't even get it out with my mouth watering, y'all. Y'all know I'm just playing. Look at this. That's Kung Pao chicken. Now, now, hold on, line. now hold on a sec. Hold on, family. Y'all gotta let me hold on. I gotta let me see. Let me taste this here. Can't go wrong there. I guess you got the gum pile, so that's good. She mixed it up right. That's it. That's all I wanted. Thank y'all. We'll be back with the finished plate look. See you in a minute. All right, y'all, so I'm getting ready to make a plate. It's, it's delicious, y'all, for real. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I am going back to the store, and I'm going to get me about five or six bottles of that P.F. Chang sauce. I don't even need to buy all that other stuff. I'm going to just use that. And I know somebody might like, what if they quit making it? Then I know what to do from there. I'll go find it. All the ingredients I make them myself. But until then, we're going to work with what we got. I'm all about omitting a few steps. Okay? There's our rice. Mm hmm Spoon it right over the top. Got some of this chicken, the vegetables, and some shrimp. Lay a few of these shrimp on here. Get some of these peppers. Mm-hmm. Oh my goodness. I 
amazing. Got to throw a little green over in there. Okay. So that is it, you guys. Semi homemade compound chicken. Thank y'all for watching. I know my plate ain't clean all the way, but guess what? It's getting ready to get even messier than that. Hugs and kisses, guys. Bye, sucker.